Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Vanessa of Sofa Creations. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I had a request to show how I made this um, altered paper clip that I had in one of my journals. Um, she saw it in the junk journal flip throughs that I posted about maybe a year or so ago. And she wanted to see how I made it so I told her I'd make a video. Now I don't have all the same supplies. I did have an, one butterfly left but I can't seem to find it. I'm pretty sure my daughter probably used it on something so we're gonna try to do something a little different. I have some other butterflies like I have this one here or I have um, this one that's kind of like a cloth one. So we we'll try these out and then for the ribbon I have this really pretty ribbon here. This will be the backing, kind of like this ribbon here. Um, so I have that and then I just got this today at Hobby Lobby. So I figured we use this one too, it's very pretty. I was deciding between that one and this one. So we'll see like how it looks and go from there. Okay, so what I did use to make this was I have the Fabrifix to hold the lace together we need a paper clip, okay, a paper clip, the ribbon, the little lace to go on there, and then our butterflies. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take, because you need like a thicker piece of ribbon for this, um, that way it'll hold together and hold on to your um, paper clip. So what I do is I just kind of fold it up a little bit and then I'm going to cut it. I think this should be good enough. If you take your paper clip, you can can see that it'll be the perfect size. So let me cut that. And I love this ribbon. I don't know where I got it from. I think it came in like a, maybe someone sent it to me, I think, or it came in like a, some kind of kit that I got, <laughs> maybe. I'm not sure where it came from, but. Okay, so this is the right side, this is the other side. So what I'm gonna do first is you wanna put your paper clip with the small side inside the ribbon that we're gonna glue. And the big side should be on the outside, like that. And then what we're gonna do is take our fabric fix and we're gonna use a generous amount of this to make sure we get it nice and coated so it'll hold and we'll put it along the paper clip and then I just put it sorry if the lighting's a little bad um, it's the time of day but okay we soak it with the fabric fix and fold it over and we're probably gonna have some bleed through I'm not sure how 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 much it's gonna show through but then you just want to kind of pat it down and like that and it's it should dry pretty quickly um, the fabric fix holds pretty quick. Okay, so while we let this sit, we're gonna set it off to the side. I wanna get, I wanna use this one because I think it's very pretty. So what we're gonna try to do is when we glue it down, we're gonna try to kind of bunch it up. Because if you look at this one, I had actually sewn two pieces of ribbon together. Well, a piece of lace and then this ribbon. Um, and made it kind of ruched, I guess, is that the word? Where it's kind of pleated or something. I'm not really sure the word I'm looking for, but I did not do that this time. So we're going to just try it a little different. So what I want to do actually is bring this back over and then I think I'm going to put it like, like this and we can go like, try to do that sort of thing. So let me just cut off a piece or we can even just leave it like that. No, I don't like that. So, okay, let's see. Let's put some fabric fix down in the center. And then what we can do is put the, the, the ribbon on and then kind of push it. It's a little difficult. It doesn't seem to want to work. Sometimes this works. You can glue stuff and then make it It doesn't appear to be working with this one though. Okay, so I think we're just going to leave a piece on there and then we'll cut this other piece off. 
Now, I don't think this one's going to come out as cute as the other one, but it kind of gives you the idea of how to actually make it. Um, I think maybe this would have been cuter because it's already ruffled. You know what? I think that is cuter. I'm going to just um, glue over the top of that other one because I think this one looks way better. So let's just cut a piece, put some glue, and I'm only going to glue the center. Just making sure I have it the right way up. And it gets covered up so you won't really see the, the pink very much, so that works. I like this one because it already has the ruffles on it, so it looks really pretty. Well, guess what? I found the butterfly. It was upside down on my desk. So that's good. We can use this instead of the, these other ones because honestly the other ones aren't as good as this one. So then this one we're going to attach here with some more fabric fix and that'll complete the altered paper clip. So let's do that. Just put the fabric fix along the back of the butterfly. Now these butterflies I got from Dollar Tree. They came in a they came in a pack of I'm not sure how many, but they had all different sizes. There's a large, a medium, and then small ones. But I have not been able to find them at Dollar Tree anymore. I guess they stopped selling them. It was just like a limited time thing, um, which really sucks because I really love these and I don't have any left. This is my very last one. I'm just going to trim some of this. But you could probably always find other options. See, look how pretty that is. I really like it. And it's pretty similar to this one. So now we have two little altered paper clips. And you'll be able to just stick them on a piece of paper. Um, let me get this journal I was working on. And show you that it just goes right on, just like that. And I think it came out really cute. I really like it. Um, we might have time to make one more. Um, or I can show you guys a few of the other kind of ultra paper clips I've made. Um, I have a, these really cute ones. I really love these ones. Um, they're like tags. I think they're really cute. Um, I did have a video where I showed how to make these. Um, I can try to remember to link it below if you guys would like to see. Because I was thinking maybe we can make some in this video, but um, I think it takes a little while to make these ones. And I'm not sure where my tags are, so it's probably better to link the other video so you guys can see it. But it's really fun to make the altered paper clips, honestly. I really enjoy it. Um, and it adds so much to your journal. Just the look and everything of it. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And hopefully it it helped you out. Um, but yeah, I really like how it came out. I think it came out really cute. I like them both. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. If you did like it, if you could go ahead and like and subscribe. All right, thank you guys. Bye.